Today, I will be showing you how to use the ResDisk application to protect and share files between two different host machines. This will be necessary if you wish to use a ResDisk data vault on different machines using the same ResDisk license on a particular Rosetta device. This video assumes that you have a Rosetta device, that you have the ResDisk application installed, and that you have a valid product license for ResDisk. You should also watch our videos on installing Encrypt and Share applications, creating and sharing keys, and using the ResDisk application before continuing with this video. Suppose you are a student with an instructor who loans you a Surface Pro device for use in the classroom. You install ResDisk on the Surface Pro and initialize your Rosetta device with your own individual ResDisk license and export your sharing certificate with the instructor. Your instructor creates a data vault with course information on it using their own copy of ResDisk on their computer and shares it with the entire class on a shared network location. You can access this data vault using the certificates on your Rosetta device and you can use your ResDisk license to run the installed ResDisk application on the Surface Pro. Now suppose that you need to access this data vault after the course completes but your instructor requires you to return the Surface Pro at the end of the course. You have a Windows computer at home and the ResDisk installer with the product key that you saved after installing it on the Surface Pro. Now, you need to install the software on the new Windows computer and apply the license key for your Rosetta device. You will then need to migrate your ResDisk data ball from the Surface Pro to the flash memory on the Rosetta device to transfer it for use to your local machine. Today I will be showing you how to safely go through this process. You can use your Rosetta device to copy all files needed, including any source files, share files, and your contacts database. To begin, copy all source files and share files that you wish to import to your home computer onto your Rosetta device. This may take some time depending on the size of the data vault. Once this is finished, you will need to copy your contacts database as well. To view this file, you will need to set the File Explorer on the Surface Pro to show all hidden files and directories. To do this, open the View tab from the Explorer menu and make sure the Hidden Items box is checked. Now, navigate to the path where your contacts database is saved. This should be similar to the path shown on the screen. Once you are there, your contacts database will be named rescontacts.db. You will need to make sure that you have this file copied to your Rosetta device before you leave the Surface Pro. You should now have all the files necessary for migrating your ResDisk installation on your Rosetta device. Now on your home computer, you can plug in your Rosetta device and copy over all the source files and share files to your data vault. To learn how to use these files, watch our video on the ResDisk application. Once you have finished copying these files over, you will need to copy the rescontacts.db file over to the location shown on the screen. If you already have a rescontacts.db file in this location, you will either need to delete the old one or rename it if you plan on using it later. Once you have copied this database file over, you should now be able to use ResDisk in the same way you are using it on the Surface Pro. Now, when you open the ResDisk application, you should be able to sign in with the login password for your Rosetta device. You can now import your data vault using the method discussed in the ResDisk video. That's all there is to it. We hope you have found this video informative. Thank you for using ResDisk for your Rosetta Hardware Encrypted Data Vault Management System.